that I mean that live have been touring the world since September last year and they're flying back to the US this weekend. But plans to actually have them here and perform live in the house tonight have uh, kind of gone a bit haywire. So please welcome to the house to explain and talk about their Australian tour, bass and drums for the band Patrick and Chad from Live. <laughs> turn of events today turned out to be. It's We've got the piano set up, we're all ready to go. So we, Roadies our here. crew was here, yeah, and uh, we were not. We were in Perth last night and had a wonderful show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got out of there around midnight. Yeah. And we had a five o'clock flight this morning. Oh, man. Yeah, so Ed, uh, how would you put that? He doesn't have a voice. More, you put yeah, more yeah. or less, he cannot sing. Yeah, so. he's not really sick. It's just that we're all exhausted. It's been a long tour. I mean, you guys have been on the road since September last year, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. So we've been working really, really hard for the distance to here. It's been sort of incredible. We actually started a tour prior to the record release. Wow. Uh, so that becomes really intense, just trying to keep it up. You know, basically going from country to country, uh, city to city. And uh, the tour's gonna last for nearly, actually, a year yet. Uh, well, basically, until the end of the uh, U.S. summer. But Chad gets to go home tomorrow, and I, I have to stay here and do some uh, personal stuff. Yeah, and I'm actually the guitar Chad, not the drummer Chad. Oh, you're the oh. guitar Chad, not the drummer. Yeah, but there are, there are, there are two Chads in How the band. How confusing and controversial all at the same right, time. Exactly, but I was, I was going to play that I was the drummer. <laughs> but and you talk can, about you can my pass beats as a drummer, guess, whatever a drummer may look like. So what Chad and I were going to do is we were going to just uh, perform anyway, but I can't sing a lick. You can't sing? No. Not even for the life of you? No, and, and you don't want to hear me. No, I can't. It's one of those singing you know, in the shower. And we that do thing. some good Backstreet Boys covers. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, that could be a go. You never know. But um, especially with touring, I mean, like we were saying before, being on the road for such a long period of time, it has been kind of fraught with a lot of sickness, but at the same time, there's got to be a lot of good that's come out of it as well. I mean, you've played to so many people. With that in mind, what's been some of the standout moments of the tour so far? <sighs> wow. Uh, you know what? This entire leg, the Australian run period, has been... Um, Amazing. It's, it's probably the most exciting leg of the tour to date. Yeah. Um, amazing audiences, amazing energy from the audiences. Are they so. like different to overseas audiences, Australian audiences? Do they? Everybody has an accent. <laughs> One of those funny ones. Throw a shimp yeah, on the Barbie, mate. That's right. And everybody really tells right. me I have an accent. I don't have an accent. No, you're normal. We're strange. Exactly. That's the way it works. <laughs> I think that one of the probably the most magical things about uh, being in a band and being songwriters is to write songs that cross borders. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're in the middle of Germany or, you know, in particular the non-English speaking countries and they're singing along to every word of every song that you do, yeah. it really touches you. I mean, it actually makes the world a much smaller place. And I think that um, live has started to tap really into the energy that, uh, that John Lennon was into right around the Imagine time period with trying to use music to commune people and to use it as a voice of love and, uh, and a voice for humanity. And I, I think that, you know, in particular, you know, you come halfway around the world for us and, uh, you know, you're in Australia, but yet there are still, you know, literally thousands of people that show up every night to come along and sing every word. Yeah, I think there's a lot of power in that. Well, I mean, with that in mind, too, you've sold something like 15 million albums, which is just incredible. And the latest that's album... That's a lot of records. That's a lot of Maybe records. Maybe we'll get a royalty check one day. You actually, you're making money now. Is life easier now that you sold 15 million? No, years? actually, it's funny because all, it's, there's, there's like an eight-year lag time and when you get paid. Oh, really? So I won't be paid in it until like I'm like 40 something. Everybody takes their chunk out of it and that's what's left. Oh, gosh. Well, we couldn't have live actually coming and perform here tonight, but we thought right. we'd actually play the next best thing. This is an awesome piece of footage when you guys played in Amsterdam. This, ha yeah, Dan, I don't think this has been... Uh Aired anywhere other than in Amsterdam. Wow. I don't think so. Oh, excellent. So it's an exclusive live in the house. Well, sort of live in Amsterdam, live in the house. This is live with Run to the Water. This is awesome. Have a look. The what? snowflakes. Oh, yeah. It, it looked like we were in Scandinavia <laughs> or something, didn't we? We were in Holland. You hadn't seen that before either, have you? I have never seen that. See? Smart guy here place. has, but oh, I, I haven't. Yeah, I watched it. Actually, the night that it broadcast, I went back into the hotel room and 
drank a beer and watched it. It was pretty nice. cool. Yeah. Best way to watch it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, we totally hope that Ed gets his voice back soon, and we wish him well. Yeah, I don't think it's anything more than just even a night's rest. I think that if we were in Australia for even one more day, that we'd have no problem performing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we maintain a grueling schedule, and I can't really ever remember Ed missing because of his voice. Yeah. So this is actually something that's very rare for So us. we apologize and thank you. Yes, yes. Thank, yeah. you thank you for And we want to thank Australia. Australia. Hey, Rob, thank you for coming yeah. in, guys. Let's say Chad and Patrick. We love. Excellent. There is heaps more coming up after the break, so make sure you stay with us. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks. Thank you so much.